count it all joy. Be excited even when you fall into temptation. Which means what makes people to be depressed is a failure to understand this. If a temptation comes, it's not there to destroy you and it's not there for you. It's there for your faith. Ah, my wife is behaving. She is there not to tempt you. She is there for the testing. So anytime the word of God comes to you, anytime the scriptures come to you, anytime Rema comes to you, anytime a preaching comes to you, anytime a word is delivered to you, the following thing that happens before a testimony manifests is temptation. Remember what he says. He says, but when temptation, when affliction arises because of the word, Matthew chapter number 13, when affliction arises because of the word, which means when the word comes like this, all of you are excited because you're expecting testimonies, but what follows after? Affliction. Affliction. And affliction doesn't mean sickness. No, sickness can be part of affliction. What scripture is actually saying is this. The faith that has been built by the word that has entered you has to be tested by a certain trial, by a certain temptation to prove whether or not you have the faith. So we will know whether you have faith, not after you confessing. No, your confession doesn't mean anything. It is your reaction to the temptation that tells us you have faith. So, beloved, count it all joy when you fall into temptation. <laughs> Now, the next time temptation comes, you will know something. It's not coming <laughs> for you as an individual. It's coming for a level that has been introduced by the word. Which means failure to see temptations coming can be a result or can be a highlight or a reflection that nothing is going on in your life. Even God is not working with you. Certain temptations, they actually come because you are walking with God. Verse 2, verse 2. Go back to verse 2. My brethren, children of God, Christians, believers, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Verse 3, knowing, which means what makes you excited when you fall into temptation is knowledge. You know what temptation means. So the reason why when you make up in the moment, you were ignorant. Yeah. You were ignorant. The moment you have knowledge, you will see the temptation. It tests your level. Your level is not tested when you pray for minutes or when you pray for hours or when you pray for days. Your level is tested when the word comes to you and soon after, Temptation follows. You are tempted. You are tempted. In the end, we are wondering, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but if it happens that way, it means the miracle that you must get, the testimony that you must get, must be bigger than that of Job. Because you can never be tempted beyond the temptation of Job and not get the results of Job. It cannot happen. Now, you realize something. When the devil was allowed to tempt a, a, a job, it was because God had seen the outcome. The multiplication. He is not there to take everything away. No, he is there to multiply. But multiplication doesn't start before subtraction. Joseph, before you become the governor, you have a dream. Of you being up there. But when you wake up after receiving such a word. The pit first. You go to the dungeon. You go to the pit. And you are wondering. But I had a dream. My father actually told me I am a great person. And you are starting by being removed from your current level to your lowest. And if only Joseph knew. He would have counted it all joy. When he had fallen into that temptation. Because he knew. The temptation is coming to test a level. Is your faith in place? Count it all joy. Count it all joy. So there are people that will come to attack you. There are people that will come to speak against you. 
The problem is you react and respond according to what they have said. You don't react and respond according to the word that God has given you. Yet these people are coming to test the word that has entered you. The word is saying, you know the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, but for sex he became poor, so that we through his poverty might become rich. Yes. And the word comes, and the grace is actually imparted on you. Now you have the grace to be rich, to be wealthy. The moment you step out, money, money, your money has been stolen at home. Ah, what kind of temptation is this one? It's coming to chase after the faith which is in you. To see whether the faith will run away or it will face it headlong. Are you getting this? Just, just imagine. Just imagine. The, the, the issue is this. The word that you receive is a word of God, a word from God that must produce results. But before it produces those results, it must be tested. Otherwise, everyone should have had results because everyone is hearing the word. Everyone should have had results. But the ones that will have results are the ones that are written in Revelation who are to say, blessed is he that will endure to the end. Endure to the end. Will you endure to the end? What is the end? The end is not the coming of Jesus Christ. No. No, there is an end to this temptation. There is an end to this situation. So the end is the result. Oh. Can you stay in a certain place being afflicted and tormented because of a word that has entered you? You actually see God performing miracles amongst you. The person sitting next to you received a miracle last week that you did not receive. But you are saying, mine, God, mine is actually smaller. Why am I not receiving my own miracle? It's because of what I'm talking about now. <laughs> for you to then doubt God and say, God cannot do it. He's actually doing it for the next person. He's doing it for the next person. My God. <laughs> ah, Father Lord, I know you can do it. You have done it for Pastor Aldrich. You have done it for Pastor Ken. You have done it for, you know, you have done it for all, all these people. Father. In Jesus' name, we receive, we believe. Yeah, amen, amen, amen. And then God says, I have done it. It's yours. You will be excited. But you forget something. The moment Joseph received the word, his brother started hating him. I used to think, so long God has spoken to me, people will love me for what I have heard. They will actually hate you. <laughs> so pastor, you will find yourself in the midst of brothers that are angry at what God has said to you. You, you would think they will support you because God has spoken to you. No, they will actually fight you to prove the word is genuine. When they support you many times, it's a sign the word was not from God. Because if they support you, they are never going to sell you. And if they don't sell you, you are never going to find yourself in Egypt. And if you are not in Egypt, you are never going to be a governor. So this is, all these temptations are God's ways of piloting you to your next level. My God. Why, is, why are things happening like this to my children? It's because you are serving. That's the first sign you are serving genuinely. And it was the first time Mufung. She was just prayed for once. Me, I've been in this church, I don't know how many years. Count it all, John. When you fall into diverse temptations. Because you see, your temptation is not your temptation. Your temptation, pastor, is your miracle. There is a level for you after the temptation. 